So I'm getting ready to do the zodiac sign Scorpio. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they are attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So let's see what do we have for Scorpio. So you have a karmic soulmate, a toxic family member. So whoever this karmic soulmate is, this could be a toxic family member. This is someone who got angry when they found out you were aware of something. Now this could be someone that's attached to a toxic family member. And this could be their karmic partner, like someone that they're in a relationship with or a marriage. But this person got angry when they found out you were aware of something. Yeah, this is someone who did something to someone. Um, they could have felt like this karmic soulmate is someone who loves them unconditionally. But this is someone that was only out for money. And whatever you were you found out or you were aware of, they started panicking. This person got worried. This is the type of person that um, does not want to be responsible for their self. So whatever you found out and you could have made a family member aware of, they didn't want to take accountability. Like they didn't want to take responsibility. This is something that they just did not want to get out. This could be something that went on um, a long time ago, like something that they did. And they could have started panicking because they were in fear that this family member would move on from them, whoever you expose the truth to. This is someone that they live with. There could be some type of situation where this person is someone who's always moving around or something like that. They never they never settle like in one spot. They're like all over the place. Their priorities is all over the place. This could be someone that this family member have kids with. But there's a past over loved one who watches over that person and maybe they have been trying to communicate with that person, talk to that person, or send some type of signs and synchronicities and they're not paying attention to them. They could be having health issues because of this person with health issues could arise. And then honeymoon. So it's, it's like as soon as they started dating this person, the beginning phase, they started having a lot of health issues. And maybe they don't know where it came from, but this is when it started. Yeah, as soon as they started dating this person and they've been dating that person for a long time, going through a lot of challenges, these challenges that they've been going through with this karmic partner is supposed to help this family member do some type of inner work, inner healing. Yeah, earth sign is here. So whoever the person is um, that you could have exposed could be an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Whoever the karmic partner is, they could be an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But yeah, this is someone that they have to distance themselves from. This is someone that was only sent to teach them some type of valuable lesson.
And it's like they're going through a lot of challenges with this person because they have to make a decision. Do they want to stay in this energy of dealing with a lot of health issues, going through a lot of bad times? Or are they going to make the choice to do some inner work? Work on their shadow self. Detach from the energy that drew this person to them. Whoever this karmic soulmate is. Now, there is something that a lost loved one could have said to them when they first moved in with this person or got in a connection with this person. And this is something that this family member um, that you expose the truth to knows. It's between them and whoever this person is that passed away. Nobody else would have knew that information. You know, they, they told them to stop doing something because this is someone that is slowing them down. Now, whoever this family member is, this could be someone that's very intuitive. Like that person is someone that um, has a strong intuition. And they told them something about this person. This could be also them telling them that they didn't need to like put their all into a situation. They needed to um, like be more focused. Yeah, they were telling they told this person to wait, do not get in a relationship or jump into a relationship with this person, but they they did it anyway. It's like they jumped right into a relationship with them. This is someone who could have um gotten out of a relationship with someone else and then they jumped right into a relationship with this person. They didn't give themselves enough time to heal. This is a family member that they confided in. Somebody that they talk to a lot. Now, whoever this family member is, this is someone who um, was like at a, at a two of pinnacles, like juggling a lot. Or they could be in this energy now, like they could be overwhelmed. They could be going through a lot and um, they're being guided to take another direction with the food card being here. Yeah, it's like they're being guided to take another direction, but they could be like not knowing how to, not knowing what to do. This could be someone who does not want to talk to anyone else. Like they feel like they can't talk to anyone. This could be people that are very judgmental, um, people that they feel like are going to make them feel bad for opening up but this family member that passed away this is someone that was not judgmental it's like they gave them positive advice 
And now that that person isn't here anymore, they're watching over them and they're trying to guide them. But as they're in this physical, they're trying to adapt. They don't know what to do. They don't know who to turn to. You have the five of cups. Yeah, they could be still grieving this person's loss. And whoever the person is that started panicking, they got worried, this karmic soulmate, they're in regret, they're disappointed because you made them aware of something. And now that person is out of some type of confusion. And if this is someone who felt like they would be able to make you out to be someone that lied, they're in regret because that did not work. Whatever they did to you, it like made it obvious that this person was like out for some type of revenge or they started panicking because of what you said. This family member also is in regret because they see that you're in the Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands. So you could have made a quick decision to walk away from something. This could have been a karmic soulmate that you were attached to. And they feel like you're emotionally stable, content, you're happy, you're at peace. But they're not. They just don't know what to do. And if they have kids with that person or a child, that's a major impact of why they're in the two of pentacles, like juggling. Yeah, somebody's going through a lot of challenges um, because they have to make a decision. They have to get something balanced out so they would be able to go towards a whole nother direction and start a new beginning. But they have to end out like a karmic cycle with a karmic soulmate first. This is someone who has to put in the work. They have to want to change. They have to want to take action. Yeah, you communicated. Whatever you communicated to this person, it was true. And whatever you expose, if you were trying to help this family member, it's going to take a lot of patience. So whatever you said to them, they weren't just going to pick up and leave. But you're definitely going to be rewarded for whatever you are trying to do to help them with celebration being here then you have patience manifestations are on the way good times come from hard work time spent in good company So yeah, somebody had to take somebody had to make some type of sacrifice, give up something old in order to be rewarded something new. Yeah, and realign their self, shift their energy, change their perspective. I mean, perceptive about that person. Gain more clarity. Because whatever perception that they have about this person is like a false illusion. False expectations. This is someone that definitely needs to lay this situation to rest, set up boundaries with this person and, um, you know, know when to. They need to learn how to set boundaries, period, not only with this person, but know when to let and put up walls, let down and put up walls.
It's like somebody needs to take a break from being in a relationship with the two of with the four of wands and the four of swords. This is someone who could be emotionally drained, overwhelmed. They're just all over the place. And it's like the more and more they go through these challenges with this person, they're wanting to work harder to stay in the connection or prove to that person that they want to be attached to them instead of focusing on their self and working hard on their self to get out of whatever this illusion is. Yeah, this is someone who definitely has a soulmate or um, they're keeping their self distant from like true love. Whatever the divine wants to present them or give to them. Because this is a situation where the love is unrequited. It's like somebody expected for this person to take care of them. And if they've been going through a lot of challenges, a lot of trials, tribulations, obstacles dealing with this person, this is why they're not seeing that this person is someone that was only out for money. And they could be having financial challenges as well. It's hard for them to make money. Yeah, this is someone that's been going through a lot of anxiety because they don't know what to do next. This is someone who could feel like um, they just can't count on love or they will not be able to find love that they can truly count on because they've settled with this person. But this is someone who is definitely wanting to escape this. But this escape card, it says love is an emotional escape for you. Be sure you are getting involved for the right reasons. So this is someone who could have been very immature. Um, they didn't get in this connection for the right reasons. Yeah, this is someone who was definitely blinded with blind spot being here. And they couldn't really see what was going on. And this could be someone that feel like they just don't have any trusted person or anyone to confide in for advice. Then you have end in here. They could be pretending as if something is not over, something is not at a dead end, but it's just time to let go and make a fresh start. It's like somebody has to um, accept the situation for what it is. They've definitely been trying to put pieces together. Yeah, so you have ending in pieces. So as I said, every time something happens, these challenges, and it, it's for them to make that decision to move on from that person, they're always trying to pick up the pieces when things fall apart. It's like somebody is keeping them all over the place. And they're seeing it. This is someone who's definitely seeing it now. Yeah, they're seeing that this situation is something that did not work out the way that they thought it would work out. Yeah, it's like the more and more they work hard towards trying to fix this situation with this individual, they feel more loss. But now they're realizing that um, feeling loss is how they're going to be able to find their self. It's never too late to um, heal, do the work on yourself. 
so they can be able to rebuild the original dreams that they had before encountering this person. Yeah. This is someone who needs to realize that they don't have to settle with this person or be responsible for who this person is. It's time for them to be committed to their self. This has been a rocky or a rough situation for this person, but it's going to help them decide whether it's worth keeping or just ending out and moving on from. Yeah, whether it's worth, worth it to keep going on with this person. Yeah, this is someone who definitely needs to release something and they need to um, not give up, give up on their self, but give up on this connection because it's not, it's not benefiting them. It's keeping them in the two of pentacles, like all over the place. Yeah, this is someone that's definitely deceptive. And they're seeing this person for who they truly are. They just need the strength and the courage to be able to walk away. Yeah. They walked away being here. And so this is a karmic feminine energy. This person is someone that's very needy and codependent. And whoever this family member is, they view you as a role model. They see that you have put up some type of boundaries. As I say, they, they watched you walk away from a situation as well. And they see how strong you are or how much strength and courage you had to walk away from a situation. Yeah, they feel like this person is someone who tricked them. And they've been creating a lot of blockages ever since they met that person. We have Sagittarius, so someone could be a Sagittarius. One of these people, or even this lo this um, lost loved one, a passed over loved one, they could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, the person that that um, is no longer here with separation being here, and they're still grieving this loss. We have happiness. This is someone who definitely wants them to be happy. It's like they passed over at a time that this person was very immature. So they could have been younger in age. And they knew that the person that they attached themselves to was someone that was only going to dim their life. Yeah, they warned them with warning me in here. This definitely popped out on um, this lost or past loved one card, with the guardian card. This could be their guardian angel. Yeah, they warned them at a time that they were learning lessons. And this is someone who was only supposed to teach them a major lesson so they would be able to overcome um, these challenges, things that they need to heal and move on to a new cycle. This is a toxic cycle that they had to close out or they have to close out. And it's like whatever they did when they first got with them to place an illusion over them or some type of false um, expectations about their self to keep this person attached to them. This was to block this person off from finding true love. They don't want that person to be able to manifest someone that would truly show them genuine love. So they did this and they made it seem as if they had unconditional love for this person. And it's like. They don't have any love for their self and they don't have any love for this person. 
and it's taken the reason why they're constantly trying to fix this situation with them not only if they have kids or a child together but that false illusion them thinking that that person is someone who truly loves them when in reality they don't they felt like this person could benefit them Yeah, this is someone, as I say, they've been going through a lot since they met this person and um, they're finally starting to see the truth. And it's given them enough strength and um, it's given them enough inner strength and courage to walk away from whoever this karmic feminine energy is. 